Hey y'all, welcome back. In this video, I want to show you how to make one of my very favorite Christmas desserts, or it can be a snack, whatever you like. This is called Christmas Crack. It is so easy to make, and it is so, so good. Stay tuned, and I will show you how to make it. All right, y'all, we are back in the kitchen, so the sound and lighting is going to be a little bit off, and I spilled some blue alcohol ink on my hands a while ago. That's what all this mess is. I can't get it off. But anyway... What you're going to want to do is take a large baking sheet and cover it with heavy duty aluminum foil the heavy duty stuff you can use the regular stuff if you want to but this the stuff that we're making has a tendency to stick so if you can use the heavy duty kind it's going to make it easier on you can you use parchment paper yes you can i like to use a foil because then i can get it you know up on the edges like this and parchment paper, it can be hard to work with when you're trying to cover the edges. But anyway, I use a heavy duty aluminum foil and you're going to want to coat that with some sort of oil. I'm using this avocado oil spray because that's my favorite. Let's spray a little bit like so. And now you're going to take some saltine crackers like so. Is it backwards? It's backwards. <laughs> backwards. There we go original premium saltine crackers or whatever kind of saltine crackers that you want to use and you're just going to lay them out on your pan like this and you're going to cover your whole entire sheet usually depending on the size of your sheet i usually use around 40 crackers um so just grab me a box but anyway and this isn't really going to cover my pan all the way to the edges here it's okay don't worry about it just lay your crackers out as closely as possible all over your sheet here Alrighty, so we have all of our crackers here. Don't let them overlap because then you're going to have spaces that's not covered with your mix and there's going to be like dry crackeriness there. You know what I'm saying. You don't want them to overlap. <laughs> so now we're going to make our toffee. And for that, you're going to need one cup of butter, salted or unsalted, it doesn't matter, and one cup of very firmly packed brown sugar. You can use light or dark. But it's very close to Christmas, and I'm having a hard time finding dark brown sugar. If you want to go to the stores and try to find it, may the odds be ever in your favor. But what we're going to do is put this over medium-high heat. We're going to bring it to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, boil it for a five full minutes. Okay, you don't need a candy thermometer for this. It's pretty much foolproof. Five minutes, okay? And then we're going to come back and pour it over our crackers. So let me head on over there to the stove and heat it up. All right, so this is all nice and melted. It has darkened in color is what we're going for. And now you're just going to pour that over your crackers like so. All right, set that back over there. And then you're just going to spread it around evenly over all of your crackers. Now you're going to put this in the oven, 350 degrees for right around five minutes. You see it's already starting to cool down on the top just a tiny bit, but just spread it out 350 degrees for about five minutes. And then we're going to spread some chocolate chips on top. You want to go ahead and get your chocolate chips ready because when this comes out of the oven, you're going to put your chocolate chips directly on top. And the heat of our toffee mixture here is what's going to melt your chocolate chips. I highly, highly suggest using the mini chips. They are going to melt so much faster than the regular sized ones, okay? And it's going to save you a headache. So <laughs> I highly, highly recommend the miniatures. All right, so that's looking good. So the crackers are going to suck up some of the moisture from our toffee mixture, and they will swell just a little bit. So don't be surprised when that happens. All right, 350 degrees, five minutes, and I'll be back. All right, I just took this out. It is very hot, very, very hot. And we have our mini baking chips here. You can use semi-sweet or milk chocolate, doesn't really matter. And just sprinkle those over the top. And you're gonna let them sit here just for a minute. Keep an eye on them, okay? Now you know what chocolate chips look like when they're, when they're getting all melty. They start to get shiny, okay? And when you see them doing that, that's when you want to spread them over the top. And I have a silicone um, spreader thingy that I'm going to use. But anyway, just set it wherever you want them. All right. 
And if you see that your chocolate chips aren't melting, you know what? You can stick it back in the oven just for a minute or so until they do start to melt. All right, so we got that. Now, after your chips have melted, we spread them around. You can top it with whatever you want. You can use sprinkles, what have you. I have these pecans here, and that's what I'm going to put on mine. I might put it on half, because my littles don't really like pecans all that much. But anyway, all right, I'm looking, and some of them are starting to turn shiny. Now, when I think that they are ready to be spread, we're going to spread them around. All right, they all look shiny to me, so I'm taking my little silicone doohickey. You see, we're just, I'm not putting a lot of force behind this at all because you don't want to knock all of your toppings off your cracker. Just spread that around like so. Then when I get all of this spread out, we're going to put on our pecans. <laughs> One of my littles just coming here. It's like, you made a big candy bar, mama. Yeah, I guess I did make a big candy bar. All right, so I'm just going to put the pecan pieces on half of this, like I said, because the littles don't like pecans. Ah! Stop it! There. <laughs> and they don't like, you know, walnuts and stuff on the fudge. So I'm just going to keep these over here. I love pecans. So I'm just going to keep them over here on my side. And I'm going to put a little bit more. And I'm going to call it done. Now what you want to do is let this cool. You can put it in the refrigerator. Um, you can stick it in the freezer if you want to. But if it's in the refrigerator, it needs to cool for about two hours. And that's going to allow our toffee mixture to set up. After it has cooled down, then you can cut it. Um, you can break it with your hands, whatever you want to do to break it up into pieces. And then it is ready to eat. So anyway, I'm going to stick it in there, let it cool down, and we'll come back. So this has been in the refrigerator for about two hours now. And then you just lift up the edge of your foil here. And then just peel it away. See how easily that peels away? And you just take your hands and break it. Like so. And then just break it up into pieces. Or you could try to use a knife with this stuff. At least when I've done it, it doesn't really cut in a straight line. It likes to crack, just like I'm doing it now. But anyway, that's pretty much all there is to it. It is so easy and so, so good. Anyway, I hope you liked this video. If you would, please give it a thumbs up. Click subscribe. Check me out on other forms of social media, the least all of which will be in the description box down below. And I hope to see you all later. Bye.